Initial configuration of a cPanel reseller account. This tutorial will show you the essential steps for the initial configuration of a cPanel reseller account. Enter the URL to access WHM. You will want to make sure traffic is allowed on the following ports through any firewalls on your local machine or network. You can use the following URLs to access WHM. You will need to change the name servers for your primary domain, and the changes will need to propagate in order to access WHM using your domain. Until then, however, you can access WHM using one of the URLs with the IP address of the server. Enter the username. Enter the password. Click the OK button. There are a few settings you will want to configure before you start adding accounts for your domains. However, let's first look at some information about the existing account for our primary domain. Click the Accounts Information icon. Click the List Accounts icon. Here is the account that was created for our primary domain when we ordered it. Accounts are assigned a preset list of limits and settings called a package when they're created. Resellers have the ability to create their own custom packages via WHM to assign to the accounts they own. Initially, the account for our primary domain was assigned a package called Reseller Setup. This is a temporary package with limited options. You may experience issues with your primary domain if you do not upgrade the account to a package with more options and higher limits. For instance, you will notice that the initial disk space quota assigned to the account by the package is 1 megabyte. This can prevent you from uploading content to your site if you do not upgrade the account to a package with a higher disk space quota. Now, let's create a custom package with the settings and limits we want to be applied to our primary domain. Then, we will upgrade the account to our custom package. Click the Home link. Click the Packages icon. Some of the options for a package are set by assigning a feature list to the package. The items in the feature list will determine most of the options are available in the account cPanel. Custom feature lists can be created using this icon. However, there is already a default list that can be assigned to the package that has every option allowed on the server enabled. Custom feature lists are used to limit functionality for the accounts you create. Since the package we are creating will be used for our own account, we will be assigning the default list to the package instead of a custom one. For more information about feature lists and packages, refer to the following tutorial, Managing Packages. Click the Add Packages icon. Enter the new package name. Packages created using a reseller account will be automatically prefixed with the reseller's username and an underscore. This is to prevent package name collisions with other users' packages on a server.
For each account, there is a disk space quota and a monthly bandwidth quota that needs to be set. The quotas set here for disk space and bandwidth should not be confused with the overall quotas assigned to the reseller. The overall quotas determine the amount of space and bandwidth that can be allocated to all of the accounts owned by this reseller combined, including the account for the primary domain. The quotas set here will only apply to each domain that is assigned this package. Since the space and bandwidth quotas for each account are subtracted from the reseller's overall available space and bandwidth, you will want to assign enough space and bandwidth here for the primary domain, but leave enough space and bandwidth available to be allocated to the other accounts you will create. Let's enter a new quota for disk space. Let's also enter a new monthly bandwidth quota. Let's also change the settings in the package to allow unlimited parked and add-on domains. This option will enable front page extensions. Select the cPanel theme. There are several themes or skins for cPanel that can be used to customize the look and feel of the interface. Some of the older skins, such as X, do not include as much functionality as do the newer ones. The XMail and X3Mail are skins with limited functionality designed for accounts that are strictly hosting email. At the time of the production of this tutorial, X3 is the most current one. Here is where we would select a custom feature list if we were going to use one for this package. Click the Add button. Now, let's change the package on our account to our new one. Click the Upgrade Downgrade on an account link. Select the account by domain or user. Click the Modify button. Here's our package. Let's select it. Click the Upgrade Downgrade button. The settings from the package have now been applied to our account. There are other options that you may want to configure prior to creating the accounts for your domains. For information about these options, refer to the following tutorial where we will continue with the configuration, Additional Initial Configuration Options for cPanel Resellers. Congratulations! You now know the essential steps for the initial configuration of a cPanel reseller account.